Welcome back to this post NFL Sunday edition of the news at 10. We begin this hour with a new COVID relief treatment that could be in the pipeline. Merck, the medical company that produces ivermectin, says it has created a pill that can cut COVID hospitalizations and deaths in half. Our Katia Stefovic spoke with a local expert about this new pill. Katia, this could be a game changer, couldn't it? It could. Mark and Kim, I spoke with Dr. David Pate, former CEO of St. Luke's, and he says while this new antiviral drug is absolutely great news, if you want to minimize your chances of getting COVID-19, you still need to get vaccinated. This is a new, um, a new drug that uh, looks like it has benefit um, for people that the wonderful news about this is this can be given as pills. Pharmaceutical company Merck announced Friday that it's developed an experimental pill to fight COVID-19, and the results are promising. The company said the pill reduced death and hospitalizations by half compared to those who had COVID and did not take the pill. All were unvaccinated. But the biggest draw... It doesn't require you go into the hospital and either being admitted to get it or go to an infusion center like for our monoclonal antibodies, you have to go somewhere, you have to get an infusion, it takes a nurse, it takes a lot of time. Merck also produces ivermectin, an anti-parasitic. It's mainly used on livestock and in some cases humans. Its off-label use has skyrocketed in recent months by people who believe it will help prevent COVID-19. Dr. David Pate, former CEO of St. Luke's, says this new pill is not to be mistaken for ivermectin. Uh, the fact that ivermectin doesn't yet uh, seem to work, but this drug is showing that it works is not inconsistent at all. They're completely different. They have different modes of action, how they um, actually cause uh, the effect on biologic agents. And so, no, this doesn't bother me in the least, and it shouldn't bother anybody else. Dr. Pate says if given emergency use authorization, the new pill will be a great benefit, but not the pandemic solution. In trials, participants took four pills twice a day for five days. While it's shown promise in those trials, Dr. Pate says the vaccines are still the gold standard. Oh, it's it just, again, it's kind of a no-brainer you want to get vaccinated. You don't want to be depending on these other things. And frankly, we don't know how available they'll be. And the cost is a major player in how common this treatment will be. The government pays up to $20 for a vaccine, while the new pill will cost over 700 While the federal government has already signed a deal to buy 1.7 million doses of this pill, Dr. Pate doesn't think everyone will be eligible for it. There's going to still be a lot of people that can't take this pill, but all of those people can get vaccinated. All things considered, if it, it should not be an either or, everyone should get vaccinated. Only study the drug on people who were not vaccinated. The FDA may consider authorizing the drug to be used in vaccinated patients with breakthrough cases. So the big question, when can we expect to see this in Idaho? Well, considering the FDA is putting all their resources right now into getting a vaccine approved for children five and older, Dr. Pate says he predicting it might be here by the end of November. Kim. All right. Well, it all sounds somewhat promising. Katia, mm -hmm. thank you.